In this video, we're going to solve a problem with a missing Google Play Services library. What's happened is I, I have imported a project from a different computer or a different version of Eclipse, and I'm getting these errors. Add request cannot be resolved to type. Add view cannot be resolved to type. Uh, and several others similar to that. Google Map cannot be resolved to type. This is, the, these are all classes that are part of the Google Play Services library. If I right click and choose properties, and I realize that's a bit off screen, but right click, choose properties, select Android. What we'll see towards the bottom is that there's a red X, and it is looking for this Android, C programs, Android, Android SDK, Extras, Google, uh, Google Play Services, Lib Project, Google Play Services, Lib. A fairly long-winded thing, but on my computer where I imported this, this was the location of this project called Google Play Services Lib. Uh, I do not have that in my current Eclipse workspace, so I'm going to need to make that. So what I'm going to do is choose File and Import, and I am going to go to uh, Android, and we are going to say Existing Android Code into Workspace. I'm going to browse to the location where my uh, Android SDK is installed. So we're going to go with C. Uh, this is specific to my computer. Yours might be different. C Android. And I'm going to look under SDK. And I, I, I look under Extras and then Google. And I expect to see the Google Play Services library here. But I do not see it. Uh, so I need to download it. So I'm going to just cancel out of this for the moment, and I'm going to cancel again. Uh, I want to make sure I'm in Java Perspective. That's very important. I'm going to go to Window, Open Perspective, uh, and we don't see it here, so I can, I can click for more, and I can click Java. I am already in the Java Perspective. The shortcut is if you just click on this uh, button up at the top, you'll be in the Java Perspective. And the Java perspective is going to show me the SDK manager where I can download things. I can download additional libraries. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the Google Play Services library here. Uh, let me collapse things a bit, make it a little bit easier to see. Okay, extras. Uh, we'll choose Google Play Services. You see that's not installed. Uh, while I'm here, it's probably a good idea to see if there's anything else that I need uh, because this download can take some time. But uh, nonetheless, install one package. Uh, of course, read the license agreement in entirety. Choose Accept License and then choose Install. Sit back and relax for a moment, and I will pause the video as this downloads and installs. It will probably require that I restart Eclipse as well. Uh, so to save time, I'm just going to pause the video through that process. And of course, as soon as I hit pause, it finishes. If we take a look at Google Play Services, you see that it's now installed. Let's go back and try that process again. I'm going to choose File, and I'm going to choose Import, and I'm going to say uh, Android, Existing Code into Workspace, Next, uh, Browse, and from here I'm going to say uh, My Computer again, and C, and I'm going to go to... Um, programs where I have my Android SDK. I'm going to choose SDK, Extras, and let's see if we have more luck now. Google. Now take a look here. Google Play Services. Uh, sure enough, there it is. Lib Project and Google Play Services Lib. Let me show that path again because we want to get this exact path. It is C. Uh, for me, it's C Programs Android. You might have saved yours in a different place. Whatever your SDK location is, C Programs Android SDK. Uh, yours might also be called Android SDK. I happen to have two copies here. I'm simply going to the one called SDK, but yours might be under Android SDK. Then expand Extras, Google, Google Play Services, Lib Project, Google Play Services, Lib. I choose OK. And I choose Finish, and I sit back and relax for a moment as it uh, builds and imports this project. And you see it appears that it has already finished this project. Now, our goal is to uh, figure out why we were getting this. Ad view cannot be resolved to type. Ad requests cannot be resolved to type. And Google Map cannot be resolved to type. I am ready to take the next step there. I first have to have this library installed. After that, I'm going to right-click on the project that's giving me the errors. I'm going to choose Properties. I'm going to choose Android. 
and we'll see that it wants this Google Play library, but because I have installed this from a different location, it does not see the Google Play library. So I'm going to remove the location that is um, an absolute path on my previous computer, and I'm going to add Google Play services, which I've now imported, choose OK. Uh, choose OK again. Uh, it's going to need to recognize this and refresh, uh, so we'll give it a moment to do that. Now at this point, we see that I'm down to 11 errors. Uh, one is location client cannot be resolved to type. That is the same error 11 different times in the same class, and it's because I'm using a deprecated class. So we have resolved the issues that were related to the Google Play Services library. I will cover this location client in a separate video, how to refactor that. But you see at this point, we have resolved all of the issues except for this one deprecated class.